due dates allow you to track progress and maintain accountability for getting things done on time. You can set due dates for any task, subtask, or list. In list view, click on the eye icon to open up the list info section and set start and due dates for your list. You can do this by selecting a date from the calendar or just use our natural language processing. You can even set start and do times. You can add due dates anywhere that you see this calendar icon. Alternatively, you can remove dates by clicking on the X icon. Sort your tasks in list view to arrange them in due date order. Just click on the due date column header and choose to sort in groups or to sort an entire column. You can make quick changes to task and subtask due dates with the multitask toolbar. In list view, just hover over a task and click this dot icon. You can also select an entire group. At the top of your screen, click the calendar icon to adjust the due dates for all of your selected items. In list and board views, you can also group by due date. This makes it easy to distinguish any tasks that are overdue from tasks that are due in the future or tasks that don't yet have any due date. In a board view, you can also add due dates to tasks by hovering over them and clicking on the calendar icon. Alternatively, hover over your task cards to select them with the multitask toolbar. You can even select an entire column and make changes at the top of your screen. In calendar view, you'll see any lists, tasks, or subtasks that have start or due dates. Unscheduled tasks and subtasks will be shown in the right sidebar, and you can drag and drop these items onto your calendar to schedule them. In a Gantt view, you can hide or show any unscheduled tasks and subtasks in your left sidebar. These can be dragged into the Gantt view to schedule them. In Gantt view, you can move tasks around to change their due dates, or even drag and drop an entire list or folder to reschedule in bulk. Lastly, let's discuss how to remap subtask due dates. This feature allows you to automatically adjust the due dates of your subtasks when you change the date of the parent tasks. Note that the subtask due dates will be adjusted by the same amount that you change the parent tasks. If you want to use this feature, just make sure that you've enabled the Remap Subtask Due Date Click app for your spaces. Admins can do this by navigating to a Spaces Settings. Don't forget to check out Inbox as well. This is where you'll see all of your assigned tasks that have due dates. If you have any other questions about navigating due dates, just let us know at help at clickup.com.